Hello everybody, my name is Marty Short for Smarty Reads and welcome back. Today I'm going to read chapter 12 of Happy Birthday Mallory. It's called Surprises. Before we begin, make sure you like this video, subscribe and turn on your post notifications so you know when I upload a new video. Also, share this video with your friends and family so they can watch me read as well. Other than that, let's begin. Surprises. Mallory, wake up. For a minute, I think I'm being attacked by bed bugs. When I open my eyes, it's just Mom. What's the matter? I ask her. Do you know what day, what day it is today? She asks me. I have to think for a minute. Monday? It's Monday, says Mom. Do you know why this Monday is different from all other Mondays? I roll over and look at the clock on my nightstand. It's so early. Mom, on all other Mondays we have school, but today we don't. What's so important about this Monday that you needed to make wake me up so early? I think you'll be very excited when you hear what I have to say. Mom sits down on the bed beside me. Today is your birthday and I have a surprise for you. I think about the surprise party I'm having this afternoon. A surprise? I ask Mom. Why don't I show you, says Mom. Mom ties a bandana around my eyes. Then she help, helps me out of bed. I can feel her leading me down the hall. Where are we going, I ask. I can't imagine where she could be taking me so early in the morning in my pajamas. Mom stops talking. Would you like, would you like to see your surprise? I nod. Mom unties the bandana. When she takes it off, I am surprised. Very surprised. Happy birthday, Mallory, shout my friends and family. Mom puts my party hat on put the party hat on my head. I I look around the living room and can't believe what I'm seeing. Dad, Max, Marianne, Ma, her mom, Joey, Mr. Winston, Winnie, Crystal, Pamela, and all my friends from school are here. And they're all in their pajamas and robes and slippers. Even Champ and Cheeseburger have on matching nightcaps. What's going on? I ask. Mom grins. It's a surprise pajama party for you. We all know how much you love pajama parties. And surprise parties, asks Marianne. What about my skating party? Mom gives me a big hug. There was never a skating party. I can't believe it. There was never a skating party? Mom shakes her head. Dad and I wanted to make sure you would be really surprised. And I am really surprised and really confused. What about the party Mary Ann and I planned? What happened to the invitations we made? I look at Joey. The ones you delivered yesterday? Joey smiles. I delivered the invitations to your mom. I hid them in the kitchen, Mom says. I can't believe it. You knew about this, I say to Joey. He grins. I can be a very good secret keeper. And there's another good secret keeper, too. I look at Marianne. You knew about this and spent the whole day yesterday helping me make invitations and bookmarks and sandwiches. You didn't even say a word. Joey and I didn't want to spoil the real surprise. We were your mom's assistants. She winks at me, her secret assistants. I throw my arms around Marianne and Joey. We're the you're the best friends a girl could have. And then I look at all my friends. You you knew about this and nobody said a word. Max smiles. I guess we're all good secret keepers. Marianne giggles. Look around. A sign on the wall says, Happy Birthday, Mallory. Streamers and balloons hang from the ceiling. There's a big pile of presents in the corner. The dining table is covered with all my favorite be breakfast uh, fruits. Donuts and hot chocolate with mini marshmallows. Even a platter of peanut butter and marshmallow sandwiches that Marianne made. At the top, there's Joey, Marianne, and Mallory. I pick one up and take a bite. Mmm, don't eat too many sandwiches, says Mom. You need to save room for cake. Dad carries in a tray with the biggest ice cream cake on it that I've ever seen. It's the cake of the year, says Dad. He puts the cake down on the table, he, and he lights the candles. There is Pamela Crystal, other classmates, a oh, Winnie, uh, someone else, and Mr. Winston. And then, yeah, everybody sings happy birthday. I make a wish, says Mom. Make a wish. 
says Mom. I look at Dad and we smile at each other. Yesterday at the wish pond, I wish for the best surprise party in the whole world. At the bottom, there's Mallory, Marianne, Joey, Max, Champ, Mallory's parents. I close my eyes and blow out my candles. I feel like my wish is coming true. Mom cuts the cake and Marianne's mom passes around plates. I take a bite. Mmm, cookies and cream for breakfast is my new favorite. Dad laughs. Ice cream for breakfast on birthdays only. Time for games, says Mom when she when everybody finishes their cake. We play pin the slippers on the sheep. It's like pin the tail on the donkey, but you have to pin the slippers onto the sheep's feet. Mom blindfolds Marianne and spins her around in a castle in a circle. Marianne walks towards the wall and pins the slippers on the sheep's nose. When it's Mary, Joey's turn, he doesn't do much better. He pins the slippers on the sheep's, sheep's ear, and Pamela slips them on, pins them on his stomach. Finally, Max pins the slippers in the right place on the slip on the sheep's feet. Mom gives him a pair of fuzzy yellow slippers as a prize. Max looks at these present slippers like he's touching them. Could, like touching them could give them him a bad disease. The birthday girl can have these. He hands me the slippers. I slip them onto my feet. They go look perfect with my PJs. I give Max a hug. You're the best brother a girl could have. Max rolls his eyes. On your birthday only. When we finish playing pin the slippers on the sheep, Mom holds up a glass jar of jelly beans. Who wants to play guess the number of jelly beans in the jar? I look at the jar of jelly beans in Mom's hands. Then I look at the pile of presents. It's hard to focus on jelly beans when they're, when they're near a pile of presents. Mahama looks at me. I think the only game Mallory wants to play is called Open the Presents. I laugh. Marianne and Pamela knows me so well. I Then I give her a hug. You're the best guest mate in all of Fern Falls. Pa Mom piles all the boxes in the living room floor, and everybody sits in a corner around me. Open this one first, says Danielle. It's from Ariel and me. I open a big pink box filled with makeup. It's a makeover kit, I says Danielle. It's what you need if you want a new look. I think I thank Marianne. I thank Danielle and Ariel, but I give Marianne a secret smile. I've had enough looks to la new looks to last me for a while. I keep opening presents. Marianne gives me a nice birthday scrapbook. It has nine hearts over it. One for each year, says Marianne. I love it, I tell her. Joey and Winnie give me a new pair of rollerblades. You can have your own, now you can have your own skates, says Joey. And they're purple, says Winnie. Wow. At the top, there's Mallory opening her presents. I can't believe you got me these. I take off my fuzzy yellow slippers and try on my new rollerblades. Now we can go skating, says Joey. I grin. Sounds like fun. I keep opening presents. Pamela gives me a glow-in-the-dark paperweight. Crystal gives me a days of the week set of headbands. Mom and Dad give me new pajamas with birthday cakes all over them. You can celebrate your birthday every time you wear these, says Dad. Then Max hands me a box. It's big, but it's not heavy. When I shake it, it doesn't make a sound. I can't imagine what's in here. I say to my brother, it's not really for you, says Max, but I knew, but I know you, but I think you'll like it. Now I'm really curious. I rip off the wrapping paper and open the box. Inside there's a new cat bed for cheeseburger, and it matches my bed. I love it, I, I say to Max. I try to hug him. He ducks, so I miss, but he smiles at me. I hope you have a great year, says Max. Mom passes out the party favors she brought. Mini flashlight, she says, so you can read in your bed, we can read in your pajamas in bed. Then Marianne gives everyone the bookmarks we made. After all the guests have gone, Mom picks up the tray with the leftover birthday cake on it. Did you like your party? she asks me. I scratch my head, like I have to think hard to answer the question she asked me. Well, it wasn't exactly what I expected. Dad looks concerned. 
sometimes, he says, you don't get what you expected. I stop scratching and start smiling, and sometimes what you get is even better than what you expected. Mom puts the cake down. She and Dad both smile. I hug them both. Mom and Dad, thanks so much for everything. I love my party. Surprises are fun, says Dad. I smile at my parents, especially when you're really getting surprised. Speaking of surprises, says Dad, there's another one, and I think I hear it outside. I run to the front window. Grandma's car is pulling into our driveway. Grandma, I scream. Everyone follows me outside. When Grandma gets out of her car, I fling myself around her. I can't believe it. You're, you're what you sent for my birthday. Grandma hugs me so hard she crushes my party hat. I didn't wear pajamas, but I did bring your present in person. She hands me a box wrapped in yellow tissue paper. I shake the box, but it doesn't make a sound. I rip off the paper and open the lid. Inside, there's a pillow that has a number nine inside a big heart. At the top, there's Mallory's grandma and Mallory. I hug my pillow. It's perfect, I tell grandma. I know it's only, I've been only been nine for a few minutes, but I love it already. I'm, I'm definitely full of surprises. I take a deep breath and try to straighten my mash party hat. I never thought I'd say this, but I think I've had enough surprises for one day. Everyone laughs. Then Mary Ann's mom comes over to me. Actually, she says, I have one more. She hands me a small box. I think about my new scrapbook, but Mary Ann already gave me a present. This one's for me, says Mary Ann's mom, and I think you'll like it. I clutch the small box in my hand. When I shake it and shake it, something rattles. I don't know what in, what's inside, but I can't wait to find out. That's the end of that chapter. I'll see you next time when I read the rest of the whole story. Bye, everyone.